Welcome to the Elective Rotation Podcast, Critical Care Pharmacy Minute, where I discuss one critical care pharmacy thought in about one minute. I'm Pharmacy Joe of PharmacyJoe.com. The benzodiazepine paradox and severe alcohol withdrawal is that they actually lessen the need for mechanical ventilation, not increase it. The need for mechanical ventilation was reduced in two studies when protocol-based escalating doses of diazepam were used. One of the studies only found a trend in decreased ICU length of stay, while the other found a significant decrease from 9.6 to 5.2 days using protocol-based escalating doses of Valium. These studies are linked in the show notes at PharmacyJoe.com slash episode 239. The protocol-based escalating doses of diazepam were dosed to a target RAS goal of 0 to minus 2. The diazepam dose increased every 10 minutes, up to 100 to 150 milligrams per dose. If agitation was not controlled at these doses, phenobarb was added. If this didn't work, continuous sedation and mechanical ventilation were employed. It's counterintuitive that high doses of benzodiazepines might prevent mechanical ventilation, but that is what this evidence suggests in the setting of severe alcohol withdrawal. Members of my Critical Care Pharmacy Academy have access to my in-depth training on the treatment of severe alcohol withdrawal. To access this training and much more, go to PharmacyJoe.com academy.